So today in this video, I'm going to be eating cotton candy that I've actually had in storage for exactly one year ago today. And I stored it in these mason jars as an experiment. One jar is just stored in there under no, no pressure differential, and the other one is stored in a vacuum, almost a complete vacuum measured with the gauge that I use. And you'll see that today, exactly one year, one year after the fact, they look almost the same. You'll see that uh, they're about the same size there, kind of yellow, and they actually both started out white. Um, but just two months ago, they look very different. Now, if you look at this picture here, I took this picture 90 days after the experiment started, and you'll see the one that is not in a vacuum has shrunk down to the size it is today, just after 90 days. And although it did last a lot longer in a glass jar rather than the bag that you would get it in from a carnival or something, uh, it still shrunk down small, it got moldy. Uh, that was within a, a relatively short time frame. And you'll see the one that's actually in the vacuum is looking the same as it did uh, the day that it started the experiment. Same size, no mold, nothing like that. And up until just a little after 10 months, so just a little less than two months ago, it still looked like that. And then for whatever reason, it started shrinking down. I checked the vacuum pressure in there and it still was under a full vacuum, but it still started shrinking. However, what it did not do is it did not grow mold. You'll see that the one uh, in the jar that has no pressure differential, atmospheric pressure, with probably some humidity in there as well, there is mold growing on it. And the one that's under vacuum has no mold. And this is the one I will be eating today. But before I do that, I want to talk about a little something else here. And when I started this experiment a year ago, I actually had no intention on changing my channel name. I did a lot of random videos. Uh, you can go on my channel, you can check out a bunch of different videos. Some of them are still there. But mostly this is a horticultural channel. And what I wanted to do with this is take the opportunity to talk about um, oxygen, especially in soil or, or, or for roots. So you can see from this, if you have a lack of oxygen, uh, there is no microorganisms that can grow in there. So if you are suffocating your plant roots, if your soil is too compact, uh, if it's overly saturated, or if, it's even, if, it, if it even has standing water on top of it, you're suffocating the soil, you're suffocating the roots, they're not getting the oxygen that they need, for the plant and you're also suffocating the microorganisms that are growing in there because the microorganisms that grow in the soil are very beneficial. As a matter of fact, without that, the plant would really die. You will get anaerobic bacteria, so that's lack of oxygen, but that's the opposite of what you want. That will root rot and kill the plant. Anaerobic conditions are not good. However, lack of oxygen for food storage is a completely different story. You want nothing to grow in there. But I just want to take that opportunity to talk about that and show the difference between having lack of oxygen and having oxygen, how the microorganisms, or in this case, mold, how they grow. So what I'm going to do now is actually eat the cotton candy. Uh, and this is the first time that I've opened this in a year. So I expect this to taste just like weak old cotton candy, if I had to guess. So I'm going to hold up to the microphone here and see if you can hear that seal pop. There it is. And it smells, doesn't smell like anything really. I guess maybe if it smells like anything, it smells somewhat sweet. Let's see if you can see that in there a little bit. When I touch it, it just kind of broke off into a powder. And uh, I, guess, I guess that makes sense. It is just sugar and it's kind of broken down into its element. So what I'll do is I'll just scrape a little off the bottom here and then I'll just eat a little bit of it here. So obviously it's not like eating regular cotton candy, it's powderized now, but it's basically the same thing. It's really weird because it doesn't taste like cotton candy would normally taste when it's in that fiber form, the puffy cotton ball shape. Obviously the texture is completely different. If I had to, uh, if I had to compare this to something else that you would be eating, it is kind of like eating powdered sugar and with maybe just a little bit different of a flavor. It's kind of weird. 
Yeah, and it's it's very, very similar to powdered sugar. It has kind of that, maybe that little bit of that cold feeling when you put it in your mouth. Um, definitely the same texture as powdered sugar. I'll eat a little more of it. It actually tastes really good. I'm not gonna lie. It actually, it just tastes like sugar. It tastes pretty sweet. Um, it has a little bit of, maybe a little bit of a flavor to it. I'm not sure what flavor this was uh, when it was stored. I know it was white, but I couldn't tell you the actual flavor that they put in there. There is some hint of a flavor, I just can't describe it. It's just very comparable to powdered sugar. Um, yeah, so I'm not gonna eat this one because there's mold on it, okay? So I know what the title of the video says, eating one-year-old cotton candy. I'm not an idiot, I'm not gonna eat something that's growing mold because it's not cheese. If it was cheese, it'd be different, but this here, I'm not gonna risk getting sick. So I'm sorry for those of you who are watching this video who may have wanted to see me get sick. It's not gonna happen. That's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.